everybody! I have an exciting new thing. Check out the newest spinning wheel from Spinolution. This is the uh, Spinolution Abe, <laughs> and I will explain more on why it's called the Abe. It's actually because each wheel is going to come with a penny um, for part of the changing out of the flyer head. <laughs> and so they named it the Abe to go along with all of the uh, patriotic Made in America-ness of it all. And uh, the pennies, like, you know, kind of a fun accessory. So each wheel will show up with its own Abraham Lincoln penny. But this is the wheel I have assembled it. And let me try not to jab myself in the eye with the lazy Kate. So just, it is a smallish tripod style wheel. And it has 3D printed uh, flyer head. And there's different sized flyer heads, and that's also where, like I said, the penny comes in with changing the flyer head. So it's got a totally 3D printed flyer head. This is the 8 ounce, which is, uh, spoiler alert, my favorite size. And it also has 3D printed uh, treadle covers. So that's really fun. So the whole thing, the bobbin, the flyer head, the tension block, and then there will be some uh, surprise add-on accessories on the back. <laughs> so this will be a continuing, uh, you know, I'll just keep adding to this video series as I, uh, you know, get more things. The rest of it is our regular Baltic birch wood. So if you're familiar with uh, Spinolution, you will recognize the wood. It is unfinished, so I will be finishing this spinning wheel. I'll put a uh, lacquer of some sort on it, but you can see it's the same uh, Baltic birch out of California that you were used to seeing. It's not like weird particle board or anything. It's a really pretty wheel, just really pretty all the way. The spokes look like it reminds me of like a mini monarch because <laughs> the uh, the spokes on the Echo are cut out like this, but they're smaller, like they're not as long. And then the spokes on the polywog are solid, which I like, it's very modern looking. Um, so it just has like the etched designs of the spoke. Whereas the Monarch has the uh, big open uh, spokes like this that go all the way around. And also the one flyer arm that comes up on a diagonal like this is also on the Monarch. And I don't have a Monarch. <laughs> I have friends that have Monarchs that have gotten them from me and so they've done review videos for me, but I do not personally have a Monarch at this time of filming this in my studio. So uh, I was excited to have, like I said, it reminds me of a mini Monarch. It has a Lazy Kate that will be bolted on the side that's kind of a uh, angular uh, Lazy Kate. So it's kind of fun because most of the other Spinolution Lazy Kates are either are, are upright except for the bees which are sideways. And so this one's kind of like uh, it's got the sideways la Lazy Kate like the bees but it looks like a baby monarch. So it's, it's just a super cool wheel. It's a super cool wheel and uh, I have loosely put it together at the moment and you can see I did start spinning on it and it's very fun. But I'm going to unassemble it. <laughs> not all the way because I'm not crazy, but um, I have gone through this with Ashley and with Mike and um, you know, I definitely hit a few bumps along the way as I usually do with most anything and then I asked a whole bunch of questions. So my hope is that I will unassemble this partially and then I'm going to make a series of videos I can build onto so that if you're just having trouble with like aligning the flyer or something instead of having to skip through a whole big video, you can just watch the one on that. So I'm going to do it in sections. Um, I'm going to try to hit all the things that maybe I didn't understand <laughs> correctly when I was doing it to uh, hopefully head you off on the pass of uh, anything that you might run into. Um, this is, full disclosure, the... <laughs> scoot where you can actually see the wheel. I'll pick it up here. The... Um, this is technically a Spin Perfect product, which, um, I don't know, you may or may not know, Spinolution owns Spin Perfect. Spin Perfect is kind of the line of 3D printed uh, accessories that Spinolution came out with. And the just from a dealer perspective, they are handled differently. 
Um, Crafty Housewife Yarns website does stock all of the Spin Perfect items because I love them. <laughs> but um, the customer service, I guess the only thing that's different for you as a customer is that um, with our regular wheel line and wooden accessories, you would go to your dealer more with like, I don't know how this works, customer service kind of troubleshooting stuff. With the Spin Perfect things, I am doing this <laughs> uh, to just to be helpful. Um, you can definitely buy this wheel once it is ready off of my website, and I will have a link on here, so please buy it for me. I would appreciate it uh, <laughs> since I'm going through the effort to make all of these videos for everybody um, if you find them helpful and you would like one. Um, but as far as any sort of troubleshooting, I'm going to do the best that I can in these videos, but I am not the expert. And as y'all know, uh, Spinolution improves and evolves constantly. So when you watch it, something may be slightly different than what is on this one, which is obviously an early, uh, one of the very first ones. <laughs> so uh, I would definitely recommend to you if you do get this and my videos are not helping you, <laughs> please uh, contact, It's the email is help at spinolution.com. And they should be able to uh, more in-depth explain to you what is going on or how to fix it or how to balance it or whatever it is that you need. So I am doing these videos to be helpful because I feel like I usually do a pretty good job of like making all the mistakes first so I can then help explain the mistakes to other people. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do here. But for official help, just for this uh, Spin Perfect wheel, please contact help at spinlution.com. Um, to get official help on that um, and then if it's any of the regular wheels you would go through your dealer whether that is me or another dealer if you have like an echo or a polywog or something you would want to contact your dealer first so anyhow let's uh let's take this thing back apart and see if i can uh get it back put together <laughs> so stay tuned